Hello, beautiful people, and welcome. If you are traveling this year, these are the beauty items that you absolutely need to take with you on your trip. I cannot stress this enough. When I travel, I like to keep things as simple as they can be because too many products and bags overwhelm me and give me anxiety, so I have to be very specific in choosing what I'm taking with me. Having my essentials like down pat has saved me so much time, energy, and stress. When I travel, domestic or international, I avoid at all costs checking an entire bag. Anytime I've ever checked a bag, my bag has always gotten lost. The possibility stresses me out. All of my items fit in just a carry-on luggage and a personal bag. I'm really excited to share it with you. First things first, when I first saw this, I thought it was the ugliest thing I'd ever seen. My husband had really been into functional travel gear. He would always try to get me to buy this particular toiletry bag and was like so convinced that it would change my life. And I was like, it's ugly. I don't like it. I know that sounds so vain, but there are so many toiletry bags that are so cute and pretty. I know you've seen them. They look functional. And I'm like, why am I gonna have like this ugly bag that's functional when I can get a pretty bag that's functional? For years, I had gone through different toiletry bags that I thought were beautiful and functional, and they were not. Finally, after I tried one toiletry bag that was viral, it went viral online, and everybody was talking about it, everyone said it was the best. I tried it out, I returned that thing. Okay, I give up. I'm tired of trying to like find the perfect toiletry bag. Yannick, order me the ugly one. It came in, and I have not parted with it since. It is an amazing bag. I've taken it everywhere with me. If there's anything that I've learned, functionality, is beauty. This bag is from Peak Design. This is the bag that I thought was oh so ugly. Now that I look at it, she's she's grown on me. You're looking for a toiletry bag that is actually functional and going to like last you forever. On the side pocket, you have a little hidden compartment, I like to call it. And here I usually put my razors or my facial shavers so it can stay separate from the rest of my toiletries. And then on the other side here, you have a little hook so you can hang things. Then you go ahead and open the bag. And it has like an accordion style, which is actually really, really cool. I was really against it, but the space that this thing has is incredible. Right in the middle, you can store your toothbrush. It's a toothbrush compartment. Then on the side here, you have a zipper pocket. I like to keep my eye masks, my teeth whitening kits, my gua sha all in here. It has also two extra pockets for you to organize and put more stuff in there, which is amazing. And then on the other side, there's two other pockets. I like to keep my shower cap in one of those pockets and then some dental floss for myself. This left side of the bag, I keep all of my skincare. I love the pockets because it keeps it very orderly and organized and everything stays upright. I have so many products in here and I still have more space to use. On the other side, I usually will keep my hair products, my body products, and then my toothbrush and my mouthwash. Also, what makes it nice is this entire bag is waterproof. You spill something in it, which has happened. It is so easy to clean if that does happen and nothing gets ruined. It's so nice. It's so, so nice. This might seem like a no-brainer, but for me, for years, it wasn't. I would always take a regular size brush with me whenever I would travel. Now, I take a small travel size brush with me when I travel. I specifically chose to buy the Demon brush because I have naturally curly hair and if ever I do need to wear my hair curly on a trip, I can style my hair with this, which is amazing. Even if my hair is not curly, this brush actually works really well. Bare essential. Small miniature bottles of products are superior. I have done this for years. I would buy the containers and I would go into my stash at home with all of my products and I would refill them. And a lot of times I would have multiple containers that I would forget what I put in what. I would forget to label it because I was rushing, trying to pack and get ready to go. They're a pain to clean. So whenever you need to refill them, it's not just like some easy thing unless you never change your products at all. Then maybe then that's easy. It just is so much more of a hassle. I did so much better off when I started buying the travel size of the products that I like to use. A lot of the products that you'll see me showing you are all travel size because that's how I roll. There are certain things that you cannot purchase in a smaller size, like you just can't. I found something new. This company actually reached out and sent these to me. It's called Cadence. And these are little magnetic containers that hold product. And the best thing about them, they come with customizable little clips so that you'll always know what you have in them. And what I also like is that they're not very large. Like, look how big it is. You're not putting in way too much product. I have in here my cleansing balm for my makeup because that just doesn't come in a smaller container. So I had to take that from home. These are definitely a better alternative and worth the money and will save you your products. They have different colors and it's fully customizable and they're interchangeable. So if you put something that was wrong 
holding the other one, then you can move it. So this makes it really easy, it's super cute, and I love it. Another hair product can also be used for other things is this castor oil that I like to bring, and it's also in a little tiny bottle. Pretty sure I got this at Target. This is what it looks like. Castor oil works so well for so many things. So it's not just good for your hair, but it's also really good for your eyelashes, for your skin, for your body. It's a multi-purpose product, which I love to pack, especially when traveling, because you never know. This is amazing. This is the Frank Body Espresso Scrub. You can use this in the shower to wash yourself, but also as a moisturizer. And when you step out of the shower, you don't even need to moisturize. My body is so moisturized after I use this, and it's clean, so I feel great just being able to pack this. I don't really have to worry about packing a body lotion. I really don't because of how moisturizing this is. The only thing about that I would say is that it does get messy in the shower. So just make sure that you're aware of that. Like when you're scrubbing off, like it is a scrub. Another thing that I feel like is an essential because you never know where you're going to be. I always like to bring a separate makeup towel for myself. I know that that might seem super bougie. I've had some experiences. So I bring my own towel. I got this towel from REI. It is literally the coolest towel. It dries so quick and it is like my facial towel always been really nice for me even if the hotel or Airbnb has towels which most likely they will it's just nice having your own especially when I'm like camping or whatever that's not an option so having my own is really nice and it's so compact it's so tiny it even comes with like a little hook thing that I can just like put it anywhere. So I keep this in my bag at all times because you never know. Let's talk about some skincare items that I absolutely have to have with me when I travel. This is number one, the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc. This serum, it rocks my world, helps keep my travel acne at bay because my face is very sensitive and it will break out, especially when I'm traveling. The Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This stuff right here, Mm. This is a lot thicker of an eye cream than I usually have at home because when I'm traveling I'm a lot more tired most likely more puffy having a thicker and more substantial eye cream is essential for me This is a great eye cream to have and I love how small it is. It's so cute I think this was a sample pack I got it at Sephora like a sample size and it's perfect. I am obsessed with Caudalie products because I just really like their formulas and how they work for my skin. They have some really awesome travel things, which I would highly take advantage of if you can. I like to use their Firming Cashmere Cream, and then I have the Firming Eye Gel Cream, which I usually use during the day when my eyes aren't as puffy. It's just a really nice combination. I live and breathe on Bio Oil. Look at how cute this little one is. I use Bio Oil everywhere, and now especially because I'm pregnant, I will also use it on my bump. One of the oils that I like to use everywhere for stretch marks, for dark spots, I am obsessed with this oil. I love being able to have travel perfumes. I buy them at Ulta or Sephora. I go and try out different scents this way because it's really fun to do and it's travel size. So this time I got the Gucci Guilty and I really have been loving it. Always recommend having a small container of perfume on you when you're traveling. That's it for today. That's all I'm going to share with you for essentials. I did want to keep this as simple as I could and give you just the nitty gritty. Right now I'm currently traveling and this is what I have and this is what I'm using. It makes things simple for me. I save a lot of time when I'm packing and I also save a lot of time when I'm traveling because I'm not sorting through a ton of different things. I have everything that I need and I'm going to use everything that I have packed, which is super important for me. I'll leave them all in the description box so you can be set up for your next trip. I am so excited for you guys. I feel like I've talked your head off enough in this video. I would discuss like my makeup stuff but that's like I think that has to be a whole nother video and maybe I've already posted that video I hope this video was helpful to you I hope that you enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to that oh, I'm talking too fast don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos of mine I want to thank you again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one bye